Hey Kevin, this is Mitch. Just going to shoot you that quick video about how to get more clients online by outranking the local competition. So, um, I see that you don't have a business page associated to your um, profile. So what I'll do is I'll take a look at three of your top competitors' websites, see what they're doing and how you can beat them to get more clients. So the three things we're going to talk about are content, backlinks, and citations. So for content, Google likes to see about a thousand to fifteen hundred words of content on a home page. Uh, they don't really have that much at all, uh, so they'd be really easy to beat. And their website's not even secure, so they'd be extra easy to beat. Uh, Tennessee Excavating Company. Not a lot of content on there either. They'd be very easy to beat. And then Dirt Works of Knoxville. Um, I definitely say that they would have the most content. So let's just say that they do have a thousand words. Uh, put it in a word counter and they do, which I think they might have like 500 to 750. But let's say they have a thousand. Uh, you'd want 1250 or 1500. You just want to have more than your competition. So the next thing we're going to talk about is backlinks. And all a backlink is is a link from one website to another website. When you link the websites, they're going to pass power. So not all backlinks are created equal. On Arifs, one of the paid tools that I use, they rank a website's power with UR and DR. You want these two numbers as close together as possible and as high as possible. And that'll give you a more powerful website and let you rank higher in Google's eyes because they see you as more of a powerful authority for those keywords that you want to rank for. And we'll talk a little bit more about keywords in a minute. Um, so Tennessee Excavating, not very powerful, only four backlinks coming in. And then Dirtworks in Knoxville, only seven backlinks, really no power either. Um, these are very easy websites to beat, uh, would not be very hard at all to outrank them. Now to give you an idea of what all that backlinking will do, we'll take a look at a few of the keywords real quick. This thing wants to load for us. <clears throat> okay, so this column right here is going to be the search term on Google. This column is going to be the average monthly search volume. And this column is the KD or the keyword difficulty. It just tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank these keywords. It's ranked on a scale of 0 to 100, with 0 being the easiest, 100 being the hardest. So you want to go after those high volume, low KD keywords. Uh, you can see here excavating Knoxville is searched on average 40 times a month. It only has a 2KD, which is super low. Um, this website's in the sixth position, so they're not even at the top of the first page, and they're still getting three clicks a month just on that one keyword. Um, take a look over here. Uh, so Tennessee Excavating, you can see they're in the first position. There's 80 searches a month. And they get an average of 27 clicks a month off that one keyword. Now, I know that that's a statewide keyword, but um, it's always good to have the jobs coming in because you can always turn down the ones that are too far or take the ones that are close enough for you to work. And a lot of times when people are searching in your area, you will pop up closest to them because Google sees that you are closer to them, um, especially when it comes to the Google Maps that we'll talk about at the end. Um, so you can see excavating Knoxville again, Tennessee or TN excavating, Tennessee excavation, Tennessee excavating. Um, we'll take a look here at Dirtworks. I think they had a couple different keywords. Um, excavating Knoxville, driveway repair, uh, lot clearing and grading. That's a near me keyword. That's another one where if you're the highest ranking website close to the person, then that's what you're going to rank for. Um, Knoxville gravel delivery. I don't know if you do any gravel delivery or if you just do plain excavating. Um, another keyword that I didn't look up on this, but we can also look into demolition. I just didn't know if that was something that you offer as well, too. 
Uh, and drainage is another big one for excavating that we can look into drainage if you offer drainage solutions and um, even into all the way down to hardscaping. It really depends on how much how many different services that you offer. We want to take a deep dive into all the different services that you offer. Find the keywords that you want to rank for with all your competition. Put all of those keywords into the content on your home page and your service pages. Push those powerful backlinks to those pages of a website. And then you're going to start bringing in a lot of people online that are looking for your services because this isn't going on Facebook and hoping to find somebody that you can convince to dig a pond in a backyard. These are people that are looking for excavating services in Knoxville. They want your service. And if you get to that top of the first page, you will get clicks and you will get calls from these people that need excavation work done. So the last thing we're going to talk about is citations. If I were to search excavating Knoxville, you're going to get these top three Google My Businesses in the map pack. In order to rank your Google My Business, first you want to make sure it's completely optimized. So you want to have as many pictures as possible. Um, you want to try to get more than the competition, but you want to make sure they're saved in the right format. Google likes it saved 1024 megapixels by 1024 megapixels. They like it saved as keyword intent phrases and also geotag to the different areas that you service. Um, I don't see them even using any of it, but they're going to give you 750 characters for a description. Uh, right here, you want to use all 750 characters or as close to all 750 as possible. And you even want to put a couple of those keywords in there as well. Uh, once you have that optimized, you can go after citations, which are just name address phone number listed on as many online directories as possible it's going to be like yellow pages yelp hot frog there's hundreds that you've probably never heard of and a lot of times they're also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well so you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and you can go after the backlinks to rank in the organic search engines at the same time as you're going after the citations to rank in the um google map pack if you have questions about any of this or you need help building out a website or building out a Google My Business that will outrank the local competition and bring in more clients online each and every month, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to jump on a phone call and take a little bit of a deeper dive into this with you.